On August 5, 1972, cops in California, Oregon, and Maui arrested dozens of people and sent hundreds into hiding in one of the largest coordinated drug raids in American history. By then, the Brotherhood of Eternal Love, better known among cops as the Hippie Mafia, had become America's biggest LSD hash smuggling network, with a direct pipeline to Kandahar, Afghanistan. If you took orange sunshine or smoked Afghan hash in the late 60s, chances are it was smuggled by a spiritual group known as the Brotherhood of Eternal Love, a group led by John Griggs. They weren't just a smuggling organization, they were a religious movement. LSD transformed farmer John Griggs into an immensely spiritual man, the force behind the creation of the Brotherhood of Eternal Love. Griggs was experimenting with heroin when he robbed the Hollywood producer of his LSD supply. After stealing the acid with his gang, they dropped out. He had a religious epiphany. He threw his revolver into a river, returned the unused LSD, and apologized to the Hollywood producer. From that day forth, Griggs preached the gospel of nonviolence and universal love, encouraging the use of psychedelics. After discovering LSD, they took to Timothy Leary's mantra of turn on, tune in, and drop out, and resolved to make that vision a reality by becoming the biggest group of acid dealers in the nation, literally providing the fuel for the psychedelic revolution in the process. 10 days after California banned LSD in October 1966, the Brotherhood of Eternal Love was incorporated as a religious charity and was granted tax-exempt status. Their holy sacraments, acid and cannabis. By then, they had moved 30 miles southwest of LA in Laguna Canyon and were quickly growing and eventually opened the psychedelic head shop Mystic Arts World, which also served as the temple for the growing flock. Soon, surfboards and Afghan goods sold in the shop were being shipped to California stuffed with hash. Then it was entire VW vans stuffed with hash arriving by boat. Their network would distribute millions of hits of their very own brand of LSD, Orange Sunshine, to people everywhere. At the Laguna Christmas happening in 1970, an airplane flew overhead, dropping thousands of Christmas cards, perhaps as many as 10,000, to the crowd. Each included a tab of sunshine acid, which was made in Laguna Beach and delivered courtesy of the Brotherhood of Eternal Love. Much of what you see today at Rainbow Family Gatherings looks a lot like what was going on around Laguna Canyon. Unfortunately, John died in 1969, and his master plan for creating an independent hippie kingdom was never realized. Since Griggs remains relatively unknown, it's only right that we try to raise his profile and celebrate his accomplishments at this year's Cannabis Cup. This is an opportunity to reestablish the spirit of the 60s, and the power of our tribe derives mostly from cannabis. Just as Griggs tried to assert religious rights by creating the Brotherhood of Eternal Love, the Cannabis Cup continues to assert religious rights by holding these ceremonies. Farmer John Griggs, the 2011 inductee into the High Times Cannabis Cup Counterculture Hall of Fame.